everybody welcome back to the garage today is uh sunday april 15th so we're uh pretty much wrapping up snowmobiling season and we're going on to other projects so uh now it's time to uh turn attention to the uh, corvette c3 that's been sitting in the garage since pretty much since november really haven't done anything on it so the last video I, I had on it was talking about the bumper so we actually have the rear bumper out at paint so it should be uh ready tomorrow so hopefully you'll I'll be uh, getting it on this week. and um, But the task at hand today is we are uh, replacing the uh, the headlight dimmer switch in it because on one of my last rides, after we uh, put the, um, the Octane LED lights in there, we were driving at night, and I hit the, uh, the switch on the floor to uh, throw over the high beams, and the, <laughs> all the lights went out. And uh, it took me uh, some vigorous kicking action on the high beam, low beam dimmer switch on the floor to uh, get the lights to come back on. I was driving in the dark, completely pitch black for about a minute or two. Uh, so it's very uh, nerve wracking uh, when you have no headlights. So uh, the inspection is coming up. So I had to uh, get this thing uh, passed through a safety inspection in Massachusetts. So we got to replace that uh, dimmer switch that's on the floor. I've looked on YouTube and I didn't find any uh, videos on how to replace it. I know the approximate location where it is, but who knows what we're going to run into. So let's go ahead and uh, replace this uh, dimmer switch. All right. So if you don't know what we're talking about, that is actually the, uh, the dimmer switch. It's located on the, uh, on the floorboard by your left foot. Um, so this is pretty common in the uh, cars from the 70s. And basically you hit it with your foot and it uh, turns on high beam and low beam. All right, so the first thing you wanna grab, and this is an absolute must if you work on these cars, grab a piece of foam. This is actually a piece of old memory foam that we have lying around. And I use this every time I'm working on this car, especially when you're working underneath a dash or whatever it is, it just gives you something nice to kneel on. So if you don't have one, go get one. All right, so we're uh, looking at the uh, foot switch and the foot switch is contained right underneath that pad. So all you have to do to gain access to it is pull the carpet back. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the foot switch. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull this back. And the switch is just held on there by two 5 16 uh, lag screws. It's not nothing bolt. They're just going right into the fiberglass. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and back those out, and then I'm gonna take the switch in the uh, the wiring out as an assembly, and then we'll disconnect it once we have it closer to us. Now we're gonna release the switch from the assembly. And honestly, after 40 years, this thing's on here pretty tight. And there you go, comes right off. All right, so looking at the switch, there is some uh, corrosion on the terminals. So it may just be a uh, corrosion issue, but you know what, we've gone this far we're just gonna go ahead and install the new switch. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a uh, my compressor and a little wire brush and, and blow that out. Kind of hard to get in there, but we're doing our best. Just using a little wire brush. So we'll go ahead and blow that out again. And then we're gonna take our new switch. Only goes in one way. And we're just gonna slide it in there. All 
All right, so at this point we have the new switch installed. It's mounted back in the car. The only thing we have to do is go ahead and put that back on there. Check the actuation. Sound it feels good. Put the carpet back in place. All right. And then we'll just uh, fire up the car, check the lights, make sure that we're good to go. All right, so there you go. Pretty easy to do. Uh, probably one of the easier things that you can do on a Corvette. So at this point, we're just waiting for the bumper to come in and uh, get that mounted and uh, see how it looks. And then we can pull this thing out of the garage and uh, take it to get inspected and uh, start enjoying it now that the uh, nice weather's here. All right, if there's any thoughts, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.